155 acres of undeveloped land is a pretty rare site here in Denver. And today, Denver's former mayor joined a group hoping to save Park Hill Golf Course from future development. They say the course is off limits, so they are asking the mayor and council to take another look. And Liz Dillardy shows us why they're not giving up the fight. No trespassing signs are posted at Park Hill Golf Course. It's closed. A company called Westside Investment Partners paid $24 million for the land this summer. If a concrete residential commercial development is put here, you can never reclaim this space. It's gone. Former Denver Mayor Wellington Webb says the land needs to be protected. But let's fight for the land. Fight for the land. Webb says while he was mayor, Denver taxpayers paid the owner of the golf course to buy something called a conservation easement, preventing development on the land and preserving it. He stood with the group Save Open Space Denver. We believe the law is clear and that perpetual easements should be honored and upheld. The group believes a change to state law could protect this land. They sent a letter to the mayor and members of city council saying the land should be preserved. It included a legal opinion from a conservation attorney who believes only a court can terminate the conservation easement. Under the current statute, the easement cannot be terminated unless there is a judicial determination. A spokesperson for the city of Denver said they are still evaluating the claims and that any changes to the land would require require community input and city approval. They also point out the conservation easement requires the land to be used as a golf course. It's important to the people of Denver and Colorado that believe that cities need to have parks and open space. Parks and open space make cities. With a fight over the future of this land, that's not going away. Liz Gilardi, Denver 7.